Let us now work on some challenging questions together. Let us solve the problems you see on the screen. A 1.457 molar solution, so the molarity of the solution is given to us, of maltose, and the formula of maltose is also given to us, has a density of 1.188 gram per milliliter. The density of the solution is provided. For this solution, calculate the following. We want to calculate the percent by mass of maltose, the molality of maltose, the mole fraction of maltose, the mole fraction of water, because when you prepare a solution, you have your solute in water if it's an aqueous solution. And we also want to know the molarity of water. Let us begin with the first question. The percent by mass of maltose. To find the percentage by mass, we need to know the mass of the solute. Our solute, in this case, is the maltose divided by the mass of the solution. And always remember that the mass of the solution will be the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent multiplied by 100. Now, how do we find the mass of the solute and the mass of the solution from the information provided. Remember, we only know the molarity and the density of this solution. Let us first interpret the molarity given to us. Remember, molarity will be equal to the moles of solute divided by liter of solution. Which means that the 1.457 molar of the solution given to us is literally interpreted as 1.457 moles per liter. Since we know the moles of the solute in one liter of the solution, we can use the moles of the solute to find the mass of the solute, which is what we need to find a percent by mass of the maltose, the solute. But we would have to make an assumption that this solution has a volume of one liter. That is where the trick about this question is actually coming from. If you look at the question, nothing was mentioned about the volume of the solution. So we're going to make an assumption. Assume one liter of the solution. If we make that assumption that we have one liter of the solution, then that means we have 1.457 moles of the solute. We can then use the moles of the solute to find the mass of the solute. To do that, we need to know the molar mass of maltose. Using the periodic table, the molar mass 
of maltose would be found to be 342.30 gram per mole. Therefore, mass of maltose will be equal to the mole of maltose, which is 1.457 mole, multiplied by the molar mass of maltose, which is 342.30 gram per mole. You will see that the moles will cancel out and the only unit we end up with is grams. And if you put this into your calculator, you should get 498.7311 grams of maltose. So, to find the percentage by mass, we already know the mass of the solute. The next thing is to know the mass of the solution. Now, remember, we know the density of the solution. From the density of the solution and the fact that we are now making an assumption of one liter of the solution. We can find the mass of the solution because we know that density is equal to the mass of a substance divided by its volume. So, if you cross multiply this, the mass will be equal to the density multiplied by the volume. For our case, the density is 1.188 gram per milliliter. And we are making an assumption of one liter of solution. So that would be 1000 milliliter because one liter is the same thing as 1000 milliliter. And milliliter will cancel out. So this gives us 1, 1, 8, 8 grams of solution. So that is the mass of solution. So we are now ready to find the percentage by mass of maltose. Percent by mass of maltose will be equal to 498.7311 grams divided by 1188 grams multiplied by 100. And if you put this into your calculators and you divide, you should get approximately 41.98% to four significant figures. Let us now focus our attention on the part B of the question. We want to find the molality of maltose. To find molality, we know that we need to use this equation. Molality is equal to the moles of solute divided by the kilogram of solvent. Now, many students make mistakes about 
the fact that this one is solvent. In many situations, many students use solutions. Remember, from molality, the denominator should be kilogram of solvents. Now, we already know the moles of the solute. The moles of the solute is 1.457 mole. But we do not yet know the kilogram of the solvent, but we can easily find it. We know the mass of the solution and we know the mass of the solute. So, the mass of the solvent will be equal to the mass of the solution minus the mass of the solute. The mass of the solution is 1188 grams. The mass of the solute, we found it to be 498.7311 grams. If you subtract, you should get 689.2689 grams of solvent. That is the mass of the solvent. But we need it in kilograms. If you divide by 1000, since 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram, you should get 0 0.6892689 kilogram of solvent. So we are ready to calculate the molality of the solution. That would be, so molality of maltose is equal to the moles of the solute, which we know as 1.457 mole divided by the kilogram of the solution which we know as 0 0.689 kilogram. If you divide, you should get approximately 2.114 molal. Let us now focus on question C. We want to find the mole fraction of maltose. How do we find the mole fraction of maltose? The mole fraction of maltose, and this chi symbol, I'm using it to represent mole fraction, will be equal to the mole of maltose, the lowercase n, is being used to represent moles divided by the moles of maltose plus the moles of water which is another way of saying that the mole fraction of a substance will be equal to the moles of the substance divided by the total moles in the experiment we already know the moles of maltose that would be 1.457 but we do not yet know the moles of water let us calculate that the moles of water can be found from the mass of water in this case water is our solvent we know the mass of the solvent so the mole of water will be equal to 
89.2689 grams multiplied by we know that from the periodic table one mole of water will have a mass of 18.02 grams and if you divide the grams what you will get will be equal to 38.250216 moles of water. Let us now calculate the mole fraction of maltose. The mole fraction of maltose will be equal to the moles of maltose, which is 1.457, divided by the moles of the water, which is 38.250216, plus the moles of the maltose, which is 1.457. And if you put this into your calculator, you should get approximately 0 0.03669 as the mole fraction. Mole fraction has no unit. Let us now answer question D, mole fraction of water. It is very straightforward to find the mole fraction of water because the mole fraction of the solute plus the mole fraction of the solvent must be equal to 1. In this case, we already know the mole fraction of the solute, that is the maltose. So, the mole fraction of water will simply be equal to 1 minus the mole fraction of the solute. And that should give you 0 0.9633. And lastly, let us take a look at question E, which is that we should calculate the molarity of water. We know that molarity will be equal to the moles divided by the liter of solution. In the case of water, we know the moles as 38.250 and we already assumed that we have one liter of the solution so the molarity of water will be approximately 38.25 molar